it's happening. We are finally going to make a farm. It's time. Uh, nothing has really happened last, well, when I played off camera. Like, I don't think anything has happened at all. Uh, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and get right into it. Time to build a farm. Basically, the only thing that happened is it rained yesterday, but that means that we have fully grown crops. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. And I need to organize these better. I mean, there I've got to say, there is something very aesthetically pleasing about having everything kind of like mismatched and like kind of organized in terms of here, but not over here. It's just like a big like game of Tetris at the moment. But I think, let me actually look at our Nook Miles. Yeah, Nook Miles. I mean, we have still some that we haven't even collected. Yeah, so we've gotten a ton of recipes, so that's great. And we're gonna get these so quickly. Gathering ingredients and creating delicious treats is great fun, is it not? And we get miles, so yeah, extra fun. Anyway, I have two plans for this video. Based Wait, we still have more? We still have more Nook Miles? Oh, executive producer because of uh, the crops, right. See, we are basically, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Why have I not claimed these? Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, our storage is full. That's essentially what this one is saying. And speaking of storage, I think it's time to pay off our loan. It only makes sense. I believe we have enough bells. I haven't paid off any of our loans, so we should be able to expand, eventually have a dedicated kitchen in our house, maybe like a little green room, green room, not a green room, Katie, a greenhouse as well in there where we like store crops and stuff. But I think that's part of the plan is pay off our loan, but also create a farm. Yeah, let's make a farm. I saw this farm on Pinterest and I will be completely honest, I don't know the original credit. So if you do know, please, please, please let me know. And honestly, I highly doubt we're gonna be able to get it that organized, but that's gonna serve as some kind of like inspiration for what we're going for. And reaction ruler, wow. So we have so, oh, and oh my God. Okay, wow. I'm kind of embarrassed that I haven't claimed all of these miles. This is actually a really good start for what we're gonna do today because we're about to purchase our little terraforming thing. And it's like 6,000 Nook miles or something like that. Oh, what's true friends? That's cute. True friends. It's good news for Nook Inc. when island residents get along. Good relationships are a cornerstone of island development. Oh, maybe this is from whenever I amended Mac and Bones fight. They had a little fight and I've been really trying to rack my brain as to what in the world it was. And I have to be honest, I don't think Bones went after Maddie and I don't think Mac was territorial of Maddie. I have a feeling those two are buddies. They're friends, right? And I honestly think that maybe Bones was getting a little insecure that he was spending the majority of his time, like the majority of Mac's time with his new girlfriend. You know, maybe he was kind of jealous in that sense. Here's some DIYs that I picked up. Nothing too exciting. And then obviously you guys saw last episode, we, we were able to get a couple more recipes, which is awesome. But today we are focused on farming. We are turning Animal Crossing into Stardew Valley. And first thing is first with that, let's go ahead and get that permit. I don't know, I don't know what exactly comes with that base, like the regular pathing with Island Designer and getting that from the Nook Stop. I'm hoping both dirt paths come with it, but I don't think that's the case. Let's see. Okay, so dark dirt we have to purchase. Oh wait, maybe it's just the cliff construction and the waterscaping that are 6,000. So these path permits, ooh, they're not too bad. They are not too bad. Okay, well, we definitely need dark dirt for sure. We'll redeem 2,000 miles for that. I might wait then on actually getting the waterscaping and the cliff editing permits. I don't know if I need that. Well, then since we're here, I'm trying to think what other pathing would make sense. Hmm, let's see. Oh, and the fencing too. Some of this fencing could be interesting. I think the only other path that I kind of want to get would be the wooden. It would be this wooden path permit. Let me go ahead and get that and then the custom design ones and then then we'll we'll call it a day i mean that's just over six thousand, which we were planning to spend anyway okay we got the wooden path one and i have a strong feeling i'm not going to use any custom designs in this video i mean don't hold your breath though my mind could change any second but i do think this is going to come in handy for sure so let's go ahead and redeem it just while we have enough miles on us i could be regretting this decision i don't know and there we go we have three paths we have the dark path we have the wooden path and then we have the custom design pathing and again we also I think start with the light path let's actually see what our app tells us <laughs> look at us for the first time wearing our construction hat and everything yeah okay so we get dirt well dirt and grass and then these are the three that we just purchased I mean that's fine that's kind of like that's totally fine for now oh well, hi kitty are you hunting for some bugs cutie how are you doing so good to see you too unfortunately I do not have a gift for you oh but I was able to give Dina 
her present. Last time she was sitting down the whole time, so I wasn't actually able to give her her food, but it was raining, like I said, and I was able to give her some pancakes. So I guess that's one update for you. All right, Kitty, let's chat. It's yet another splendid day on Husk. Oh, I know I sound unusually chipper, but who can blame me? Wait, why? What's going on with you? You can't just leave me hanging like that. If you're sounding unusually chipper, something must have happened, something fun. She probably doesn't want to tell me right away because I clearly look I'm, like I'm in the middle of something. And I am, that's true. So now the question is, do I want my farmland to be in front of my house or behind my house? I'm, I'm thinking maybe in front. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and eat some of these oranges. We're just gonna gather some oranges and eat those since they're pretty much everywhere on the island. I know we're gonna have to get some of these trees out of the way. And you know what? I'm pretty sure I don't have enough crops for this design that I'm at least envisioning. But the good thing is we can always plant more and propagate them and have some more grow. Okay, I'm thinking that's enough oranges. I mean, I don't wanna take too many in case we need to, to cook with some, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat at least like four or five, just so we have it ready to go. We might not need it, but you know what? I have a feeling we're gonna be moving a good deal of these trees, specifically like like the ones right in front of me, like that one. Um, oh wow, I cannot name. This one probably needs to move. I like these two that are framing my house, if I'm being completely honest, but this one might be a little too close. Like this one should be fine back here maybe, but this one probably needs to back up a little bit. Yeah, like we'll put him right here instead. We'll just move him back one space. There we go. Okay, so now the question is, how many crops do I want to have like per little I guess plot and that I don't know that I really do not know let me see how many spaces fit here that's two three and four maybe four on that side and four on this side do we think that's good oh wait no that's a little too close I could make it like rows of eight which I'm pretty sure is exactly what that picture had but I don't want it to be like I don't want it to be exactly the same but honestly that does frame it quite nicely. Okay, okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm actually gonna take and uproot these trees as well. Kitty is like, what are you doing? I'm gonna uproot these trees as well, just for the time being, because then maybe I can do some more plots that kind of go like around my house in a little different area. Yeah, like maybe, let's say like this is like a little plot of eight. Like they don't have to be even. I'm trying to remind myself, like it does not have to be symmetrical. So what if behind it, instead of an eight, like a little little area for eight, we just have maybe six. Maybe of a crop that like we don't need as often. That could be cute. Okay, okay, I'm liking this. And it makes it a little bit different too, so I'm okay with that. And then obviously we're gonna go ahead and dig up some of these crops. And what do we, I don't know, what's my favorite? <laughs> like, I feel like I want my favorite crops close to my house, probably the sugar cane. I definitely love the sugar cane. Let's do like the tall ones near the back. So the sugar cane, Cane. Um, we'll do the wheat and then we'll put the shorter ones maybe near the front so it has like a little bit I don't know a little bit of a layer situation happening basically I'm just saying that the tall tall boys are going in the back so like anything that's not a carrot or a pumpkin basically and unfortunately I don't have well except for maybe the potatoes I don't have six or eight of any full crop so again we're gonna have to propagate some but you know that's kind of the fun part of this whole thing oh you know what I could do I could do like a little thing of six, one of eight, one of six and one of eight. So it creates almost like a little, maybe like a little zigzag and then we have some path going this way. Ooh, yeah, let's make it, let's make it, Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Asymmetrical, let's make it asymmetrical and kind of see how that works. See what I mean? Like we could do, we could do this and that way in between everything we can have pro probably a custom path, maybe not. We could have some path going in between. That way it's organized. <gasps> but it's like a little, it's like a little asymmetrical farm. Cute. Okay, I am I am liking this idea. I am liking this concept. And truly forgive me because I know I'm I'm immediately going to forget exactly how many crops are of each. <laughs> like or like how many varieties of crops we actually have. But I think they think this could look cool. I don't know. Maybe it's gonna look super, super messy, but I guess, you know. Nothing is permanent. We can always, always change it but I kind of like this layout. What do you guys think? Something like this 
seems like it'll be nice. Yeah, like maybe, uh, so here's the problem. There's three different kind of pumpkins and I think that's actually where our outlier is. So maybe I'll have to figure that out. But yeah, I'm thinking like sugar cane, wheat, maybe over here. Cause you know, we make wheat and sugar, or sorry, flour and sugar pretty, pretty regularly. But I think putting them in the two bigger plots makes sense. And then maybe tomatoes back here. Okay, all right, let's just go for it. Let's do, let's do sugar cane on this side. Okay, that's four. That's the four sugar cane that I currently have. I'm gonna have to, you know, let me just go ahead and dig the holes up right here. Cause we're gonna need to plant four here, which means actually, I might have some sugar cane. I might have some stuff in general in my storage. Let me see. The question is, do I, oh wait, yes, 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 yes. I have two. Okay, well, that's not as much as I, thought I needed, but it's something. I'll just like grab one of everything because we will need, we will need to, to plant some more. So might as well grab them while we're here. Okay, sugar cane. Since I only have two, I'm gonna have to still pluck at least one of them. And I wanna make sure that they're perfect plants so they continue to grow pretty well, but we'll just pluck that one. We'll plant one there, then we'll plant one here. And you know what I'm gonna do since I'm a good farmer, a good little farmer girl, a good little Stardew Valley Animal Crossing player. I'm gonna go ahead and water once I plant everything so that way I don't forget. Because if there's anything I know about me and playing pretty much any game, it's that I forget what happened last time. And then I just gotta wing it. But you know, if I'm watering everything as we go, then that's great. Ooh, and then this one, wheat. This one we're gonna do wheat. Honestly, do you wanna hear my big brain theory um, as to why? As to why I'm putting wheat over here and then sugar cane on the other side? It's because of a uh, color scheme. <laughs> this is how my brain works. I'm like, I want some yellow to offset the sand on the other side of this sugar cane. So I was like, let me put green over here because there's a lot of yellow or beige happening on this side. That's why I put green here and now I'm putting yellow here. I, does anyone else think this way? Is this just a Katie thing or does someone else like have a similar mindset where they're like, I just want to equalize everything even if it's colors of crops in an actual video game. Okay, our wheat is planted. I think this is cute. Kitty, what do you think? Like I actually am very much vibing with this layout so far. Kitty, do you like it? What do you think, Gal Pal? Tell me your thoughts. I know you're literally the only villager I've talked to today, but uh, your opinion means more than anyone else's. When it gets warm like this, I start feeling a little drowsy. The weather is so pleasant, perfect for taking a nap. I am gonna take that as in our farm looks cozy, okay? Is that what you're saying, that our farm looks cozy? Because I agree, cozy and yet organized. All right, let's do right here. Um, You know what? I don't think I've picked up any of these tomatoes. Let's put the tomatoes back here. Also, can I just say, I hate that I chose a red roof on this first house. It was definitely an accident because I was speed running to three stars. So I had no intention to get a red roof. I don't know what I should get I don't, next though. I mean, especially if we pay off our loan today, probably green, blue, or yellow. That's kind of the vibe for me. And here we just have to plant two tomatoes because we already had four. So you can kind of get a better idea of how this will look when it's like a little bit more full. But I like it. I think I like it quite a lot. All right, potato time. I have so many potatoes, it's embarrassing. And honestly, once I fill up my space, I might just sell the rest of the crops. I wonder if the plant sells more or the crops themselves sell more. All right, here are, oh wait, no. Why did that one plant there? Oh, that's the worst. Also, I don't, I still think I don't have a slingshot. I still don't have a slingshot. Otherwise I would get this balloon. I swear I would. Kitty, I swear, I swear I would get that balloon if I had a slingshot. Because you do get DIY drops from some of them and obviously we want as many DIY recipes as we possibly can find. Wow, look at this. So this is probably gonna be the only little square or rectangle, whatever, that actually is full of crops. So you can kind of get like a visualization on how this is gonna look. Oh, I like it. Okay, since that's the case, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and just pluck these potatoes, pluck, pluck the peas, pee the peas. But in addition to that, I'm gonna uproot these plants and we can just sell these as like sprouts. Like they're, I mean, they're crops. They're still crops, so it still counts. So we'll sell all of those, or I guess most of the potatoes. And then also these, the medium potato sprouts. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, carrots. I think, I think we should do carrots right here. And honestly, the minute that I get one of those little bunny rabbits, you best bet I'm gonna put a 
little bunny rabbit right here. I was really close to having a bunny villager. Um, I was thinking about having Dottie. When I was looking at my lineup, she was like high on the list in terms of consideration. I've never had Dottie before and I think she's super cute. Honestly, I don't know if I've had many bunny villagers at all, but she never came into my queue. I never ran across her. So we didn't, we didn't do that. Elmer, what's up, buddy? Do you like my farm? Yay, it's Katie. All right, talk to me, friend. You look great today. I'm feeling pretty fashionable too. Hardly a food stain on me today. Is that an insult? Is that an insult for me not giving you food yet today? I'm busy working on my farm, but I promise the farm is going to lead to more food deliveries, Elmer. That's the whole point of this Let's Play series. Don't worry, I've got you. I have got you. All right, let's water these little carrots and then move on to the next. Okay, so now I think I just have the pumpkins left. Yeah, I just have the pumpkins left. Now, as far as colors, ooh, wait, but I have four. I have white, yellow, orange, and green. Oh, shoot. So I definitely wanna do orange probably here. Um, um, probably green pumpkins here. And then I'll do yellow here. And then where should I put the white pumpkins? Let me get some of these trees out of the way. Dang, where should I put the white pumpkins? I knew we were gonna have like one little extra weird kind of offset situation with the pumpkins, which is kind of frustrating. Yeah, I need to get these trees out of the way. Like this one on the back right, right here. Like, honestly, both of these on this right-hand side, that's kind of perfect. I kind of like that. Shoot, where am I gonna put these stupid white pumpkins? I guess I could split the difference. Like maybe have just one where, is that ugly? Is that ugly? I don't know. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I'm gonna split the difference. We're gonna continue with our little pattern of six. Instead of doing a block of like, like a whole block of six, then I'm just gonna do like three and three. Is that so dumb? That might look so dumb. It might look dumb. I don't know. Listen, there's a reason I don't do a whole bunch of speed builds on my channel. I'm not sure if this is gonna end up being great. I really do hate that. Oh my God, CJ's here? What? Hi, CJ. Oh, I guess we could sell some fish to CJ. Yeah, I think this is gonna look quite nice. Also, it's gonna be nice just to actually have a farm that's, I don't know, slightly organized for once. And water the pumpkins, water the pumpkins, water the pumpkins except they're only green and we have a lot more colors to, to watch. And if you're wondering if why I'm placing the orange pumpkins here is to offset the carrots over there, you are exactly correct. Also, I'm just now realizing I, I don't know for sure. I mean, surely this is like a thing, but I know with crafting with pumpkins, the colors matter. But with the recipe DIY crafting, are there certain recipes just for like green pumpkins, just for yellow pumpkins? I actually don't know. Or is it just like, hey, a pumpkin is a pumpkin is a pumpkin in this case and just you know figure it out wouldn't it be so cool if like the yellow and the green pumpkins were like more like squashes like gourds personally i would appreciate that but you know what that's what mods are for what who said that not me by the way i am playing on a non-modded switch <laughs> for this let's play series just to be just to be extra clear. All right, all the crops now are in my pocket. So let's just like finish this up and really see how it looks when it's all put together. This is definitely not like the most impressive build ever by any means. <laughs> but I, I feel like I haven't done too much of like the actual farming yet. I've done some off camera. I've done my due diligence in like propagating and watering my crops. But you know what? This is a farm to table challenge. I need to make sure the farming part of it still is a root of the whole story. Also very very surprised that my shovel has not actually broken yet, gotta say. Whee, water the pumpkin. And oh, well, I did just curse myself. I was talking about my shovel, but my watering can is now broken. Okay, so we'll need to get a new watering can for our white pumpkins over here. But that's okay. That's totally fine. No sweat at all. And just to be fair, I'm gonna put two actual like ripe pumpkins and then one new pumpkin on each little each little patch of dirt. I mean, honestly, how dare Animal Crossing give us an odd number of crops? Like that's really upsetting because otherwise this would be perfectly even Steven, but it's not. Okay, we need a watering can, kind of sort everything else out. Also, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move this tree as well. Not sure where, we'll figure it out. Let's go get ourselves a new watering can and I don't know, either we can customize our current 
different shovel to kind of like rejuvenate its life. Or maybe if they have a different shovel, I'll like it. Hi Beardo, what's up? What's the latest whiskers? Has this catchphrase always been whiskers and I've never noticed yeah. until right now? Hey, I was just thinking about you and now you're here. Call me the Beardo Summoner. Beardo, you are standing outside of my house. Of course I'm here, please. Please, you are ridiculous. Ooh, Maddie's home. Let's see if she's up to anything since we're going to the store anyway and she's on the way. Oh, someone's crafting. Was hoping you were cooking, but you know, it is okay. It's fine. I am wearing a construction hat, so I understand that you would rather probably give me a DIY recipe instead of a cooking recipe. Anyway, what you up to? Tell me what you're making. Ooh, a shell table. I actually don't think we have many of the, the seashell DIYs. Hey, Katie, do you want to know how to make a shell table too? Yes, please. I gotta say, Maddie, ever since I saw you and Mac hanging out, I'm quite confused. Like, y'all must try to keep this like super under wraps or something because ever since you've been hanging out in private, I like never see you together in public. What is going on? What's the deal? What's the hot goss? What's the tea? Okay, you're busy. We're gonna chat another day, but if not from you, I'm gonna find out from Matt. Hello, Timmy and Tommy. <gasps> Wait, this is back again? Wait, didn't we see a cash register at the beginning and we couldn't afford it? <gasps> oh, but now we can't. Now we might. Well, okay, I shouldn't say can. I don't know how much it uh, actually costs. I don't think we saw the antique cash, re cash register. I think it was like the other one. 21,000 bells. Oh my God, but we like barely have enough to maybe pay off our loan. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm just feeling impulsive. I am. I think this is a sign and we are we are going to buy it. We're going to buy this antique cash register for our restaurant, our future restaurant. Oh man, that kind of, that was, that hurt my pockets. But you guys, I have some other things for you. Here's what I can sell for you today. So let me sell you these sprouts, obviously, these sprouts. Then let me sell you, I'm going to give you these potatoes, my leftover oranges. You know what? Since I'm just like hurting for cash, I'm going to give you all of my crops. I know that's probably dumb, but that's what we're doing. I'm going to give you all of my crops. Uh, I'm going to keep my trees and actually I am going to keep the oranges just in case I need them. Please let that replenish my funds. Please let that replenish my funds. Buy these for 20,000. I think that at least got me super close. Okay. Oh my gosh. So we are really close to paying off our home loan. Hi Plucky. Hey bestie. A cute wall mounted clock would make a perfect gift. Okay. I I'm getting the hint. I understand that you probably want other gifts other than food that I've been giving you, especially since I'm like learning my skills. It's probably not that great. I totally understand you would rather have a very cute, adorable gift like this cute wall mounted clock. Here's the thing, Plucky. Everyone else has been doing really great about giving me like food related dialogue whenever I talk to the villagers. So I'm gonna need you to play along with this whole farm to table theme. Unfortunately, I can't gift you that, but I do appreciate you giving me the very obvious hint because that does make like gift giving for you easy, but I just, I can't do it. I'm so sorry. Hmm, who's got a birthday coming up? Wait, when is your birthday? Oh, Plucky, your birthday is October 12th. It's just a few days after mine. <laughs> okay, well, so maybe you're not meaning that's a hint for yourself, but okay, all right. Libra icon, I love you so much. Why was I here? Oh yeah, I need to get both a watering can and then potentially a shovel. Ooh, I do love the outdoorsy shovel more than the printed one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and buy both of them. Shoot though, we are, ugh, maybe we're gonna have to harvest some more crops because I'm pretty sure it's 98,000 to actually, like to actually pay off our loan. And that was gonna be the whole, the whole point of this whole episode. Like let's pay off our loan maybe. Also, I guess maybe, should we just like do the museum thing? Should we just go ahead and maybe we should just go ahead and donate fish to the museum and then whatever fish are not left over. Hi CJ, you just heard the word fish and your ears were absolutely burning, weren't they? And maybe whatever fish are not left over, we can sell them to CJ, right? Because don't we get a higher profit whenever we sell them to CJ? Okay, okay, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put away the island designer just for now. I definitely at some point wanna add some like fencing, different pathing, make it look like, you know, totally polished. But you know what? I, I think it's actually kind of cute. Okay, let's do this. Let's just sell a bunch of pumpkins. <laughs> Let's just pluck every single pumpkin and then we'll go in our storage and then we will grab whatever fish we have, including my aquarium pets that are just like hanging out. Let's do that. Let's make Blathers a happy little bird, get his museum ready to go. And then we can sell whatever is left over and actually upgrade our house and change this ugly roof color. I think that's a good plan. Should I just pluck everything? Should I just go for it? I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Let's just sell every single crop 
up. Why not? We're not cooking today. Today is a no cook day. This is farm girl, farm girl Friday, except, you know, I'm not recording this on a Friday, but for y'all it's Friday. This is, this is farming episode. This is what it's like. Welcome to Stardew Valley, except I don't have any love interest on this island. Wait, are you kidding me? I don't have room for literally just the tomatoes <laughs> that are in the way. Oh man. Okay. Well, let's do this. Let me just plant one of these godforsaken trees and get that out of the way. There we go. We'll do that. I will say one of the things about this farm too, it doesn't have like the best pathing to get like back to this whole bridge. I don't know. There's not like a very clear pathway, but I mean, it's fine. It's fine. We'll put a tree there maybe. Then maybe one a little bit like closer over here. We'll put an orange tree right here. How about that? And now this is literally me just placing trees randomly. One could look good like right here, like right where Beardo is, honestly. And last tree is planted. Amazing. Hello, lovely pets. You four for sweet fish, um, but it's time. It is time for y'all to be donated to the museum. Also, I'm pretty sure that I have an extra squid. So let me put one in my storage. It is time to be donated. It's donation station time. Wait, did I ever water these? I didn't water these. Where's my watering can? Okay, I need to put this up here. I probably need to do a more thorough watering of everything afterwards, but you know, gotta gotta get my white pumpkin the watering that I promised. All right, let's go. Elmer High. Good workout, good workout. And I have to say, as per usual, I will, ooh, bell tree. As per usual, I will probably just, you know, oh my gosh, we have enough bells already. Okay, I I, I don't wanna get distracted though. I still wanna absolutely do what we were set off to do. Oh, another bell tree. Man, this is so exciting. Also, I really, like you can clearly, oh, I can't carry them. Okay, well, I'll, I'll be back. Y'all can clearly see how much I've neglected my museum because the weeds have been <laughs> growing out of control over here. And yes, I'll go pick up that bell bag in a minute. Don't worry. But we're going to fast forward this dialogue Um, yet again, yet again. Wait, what? Wait, what is this dialogue? Hold on. Oh, I am not accepting new donations at this time due to the museum construction preparations. Oh, wait, I, I guess we got to the part where... Uh, but we're making the museum now. I thought I had like at least four or five to go. Maybe I just had two. Still quite eager to uncover fossils. I'm pretty sure I've not shown Blathers one single fossil, which is so embarrassing. Like I have not been bothered by fossils at all. Well, in that case, I guess... I guess what we could do, it looks like we only have a few fish. We have this sea butterfly and this and this carp over here. Maybe I'll just save those. I was going to sell them. Maybe I should just save them. And I mean, we have plenty of bells to actually pay off our loan, but let's go ahead. Let's at least sell most of these crops. Like maybe I'll keep a stack of 10. I think that's fair. Like I'll keep a stack of 10 for myself, but let's sell the rest. So that way we'll have some kind of cushion for bells after we pay off our loan because I mean, isn't the next payment absurd? Oh, Roscoe's here. Hey, Roscoe. How's it going, buddy? Ain't shopping a pain. Yeah, when you're broke like me, it definitely is. The lineup here changes pretty much every day, so I feel like I gotta come check it out. Can you imagine actually going to a store where it changed every day? Like, the inventory was different every day, and you, it's like, you snooze, you lose. All right, you sweet little raccoons. I have some crops for you. Again, not gonna touch the fish, even though CJ is here, and I'm tempted, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this tin of sugar cane. I'll sell these tomatoes, these potatoes, this small stack of wheat, this tiny thing of yellow pumpkin, tiny thing of orange, tiny thing of white, tiny thing of green, and this tiny bundle of carrots. And I think, I think that's all we can do actually, but I think that's perfect. That gives us with a stack of 10 crops just to keep for ourselves. Oh, and they gave us seven, 7,700 bells. That's pretty good. Okay, it's time. Tom Nook, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, but you know what? It is time that we at least pay off our mortgage, at least some of it. And Oh, wait, actually, while I am flushed with cash, let's do ourselves a little favor here and plant yet another bell tree, which have been so convenient. I'm so glad I've remembered to do this almost every day. So let me grab 10,000, a stack of 10 bees, and uh, bury those, and that'll be a nice 30K bells for us waiting. Wish you could do that in real life. I definitely thought you could at one point when I was a little kid. All right, Tom Nook, I'm here for you. I'm here to give you the money in which you've been begging for, the A, B, D. I have not even use this. Look at this, like zero, zero savings. Like I have not done anything, but I have this loan payment of 98,000 bells. Let's go ahead and just pay from our pockets. I'm going to say full amount and then 
we can put the rest in our savings. Might as well. Wow, look at us. I finished paying off my home loan. Oh, little innocent Katie. Little did you know that there were a billion different loans in this game. You actually expand your house quite a bit. So keep the celebratory actions to a minimum. But you know what? We do get nook miles for it. So I will take it. Let's see. Sprout out loud. Plant your produce. Blah, blah, blah. Well, good. We got more of this. So that's great. And then what else? No more loan payments. Again, this is a lie. This is a lie. This is a lie. No more loan payments. Are you kidding me? We know how this game works. There's actually a lot more, a lot more loan payments. Oh, and Island Designer. Yeah, I guess because we, you know, actually started to put some pathing down for our crops. That's cool. Well, amazing. Well, okay. All right, Tom Nook, let's talk. Let's upgrade my house because I want to change the color of my roof. Let's be real. That's kind of all I care about. It would be nice to have another room. Or does that room expand even more? I honestly don't know. I'm sure your home is quite comfy in its current configuration, but what if it could be bigger? Oh. I assure you that it can be indeed bigger. Ew, gross, creep. So it expands. I don't get another room quite yet. Okay, well, I mean, I guess we have to do that. Along with layout assistance, I'm also ready to help when residents want to move their homes. Oh, so if we need to like, you know, finagle everyone's house around so people need to be neighbors or whatever, we can do that. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, I want to expand for sure. Like, give me a bigger home. We're already pretty cramped with our kitchen and our living room right now. Like living in a studio is kind of nice at times, but you know, it's time to graduate from that. 198,000 bells. Oh, this is double of what we just paid. Okay, well, you know what? We have crops growing. We're, we're you know, learning to cook certain recipes quite well. I actually feel confident that we could pay this off relatively quickly. So let's do it. Yes, and it occurs to me this might be a good time to consider a new color for your roof. I definitely think so. Okay, let's see what's an option. Red, no. Pink, no. Yellow, maybe. Black, no. Let's see what's a different color. Blue, aqua, green. Let's do green. Construction on your home should be finished up by tomorrow. I bet you're even more excited than I am. Yes, for the home. No for uh, paying off that loan. <laughs> wow, what a day. I'm actually quite happy. I do need to like do a little bit of cleanup, maybe like clean up these flowers and put them somewhere different. Like it would be really nice to have an area where like, like there's a, what is happening here? What is happening here? Gentlemen, hello. Is this a little like picnic play date that I was not invited to? Look at them walking together. Oh my God, Vero. Um, okay. I won't interrupt. We'll just like put that in the back of our pocket. Honestly, kind of, the two of them kind of make a really cute couple. <laughs> All right, all right, okay, I I see. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Oh my God, stop, Beardo. You are literally just walking into him. Wait, I'm back, I'm sorry, I lied, I'm back. I was about to end this video, but now this is happening. What is happening? What is happening? Beardo, what is happening? Guess who said my outfit was on point today? I think I have one really big fucking guess, Beardo. It was Elmer, and you've seen Elmer, right? That's an A plus compliment coming from someone like that. Wait, what? This is seriously the romance I did not know that I needed in my life. Um, tell me everything. It's hard to stay chill with so much on my plate, you know? Oh, like the amazing feelings of an, like a budding new romance with Beardo? Folks keep asking if things are okay. I'll tell you what's okay. Now Nothing. Everything in life is real unokay, meaning it's amazing, right? The jam I always spread on stuff, missing. It's missing, man. Mi wait, what? Elmer, wait, you are changing the pace of this conversation really quickly. Oh, poor Elmer. You are, I get it, buddy. It, it, early relationship anxiety is totally legitimate, but you are valid. Don't let the fact that someone loves you scare you away. These are dark days, real dark days. Tell your jam you love it while you still got the chance, Elmer. Listen, I am here for you. I totally understand those feelings like it's not easy you are valid you are worthy of being loved my friend you are okay please know that oh my god oh my god it's happening again it's happening again okay now i've got to listen to the conversation hey beardo guess what i'm thinking of right now what you're thinking of? Hmm, let's see. Since your taste buds inform your every life choice, I expect you are excited for a new flavor of chip. <laughs> Again, thank you to these villagers for having food-related dialogue. You really helped me out quite a lot. Wow, yeah, there is a new fish and ketchup chip I want to try real bad. How do you know that? It's too easy with you. Your thoughts are written all over your face. Oh my god. 
listen, Maddie and Mac can fuck all the way off. This is the new romance that I am shipping on this island, Beardo and Elmer. Look at him. He's like, I can tell every thought you've been thinking this whole time. They've been inseparable today. Her love story has taken longer to blossom, but I am so here for it. No, I might have snacks on my face, but my thoughts are inside my face, not on it. Poor Elmer. Elmer struggles with relationship anxiety as we just saw, and I don't blame him. Like, I get it. You have to be vulnerable. It's intimidating, but like, I don't know. These two, I kind of love what's happening here. And also I'm being such a creepy, just fly on the wall at the moment, but had to listen, had to listen. All right, boys, you enjoy your picnic. I'm gonna go over here and give uh, give a little outro then. Oh my goodness, what a mess. Anyway, I'm pretty proud of this little farm situation that we have going on. It's far from perfect, but you know what? I'm gonna do my due diligence over the next few days and make sure everything is watered and growing properly. I'll probably do a little bit more fishing, maybe a little bit more recipe hunting, but we, I think are on our way to like actually doing pretty well in this challenge. I'm so proud of myself. Let me know if there's ever anything interesting that you guys wanna see in this challenge too. I am all ears, but I hope y'all are having an amazing one wherever you are in this big old beautiful world. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.